everybody. Sorry for the bad lighting. It is a gloomy day here, so we're just having to depend on the uh, yellow overheads. But luckily, we're not doing a color thing, so, uh, you know, who cares? I just look extra tired. <laughs> but today we're doing uh, Spin Thin, so it makes sense we did Spin Chunky yesterday. So it's pretty much the opposite advice of what I told you <laughs> yesterday for Spinning Chunky. So um, with your fiber, with Spinning Thin, you're going to want to really pre-draft it, I mean, depending on how thin you want to get it, and how fast you, you know, your feet go and whatever, you know, draft it down into a thinner amount, or strip it down, I call that stripping, I don't know what other people call that, <laughs> probably not what other people think of as stripping, um, and I go through, and then really pre-drafting is going to be your friend with uh, spinning thin, so, uh, you know, pull it into strips, and then go through and really pre-draft it so that you're not fighting with it like at the orifice. And let's see, this is the bullfrog again. So same same wheel as yesterday, but this time we're doing thin. I've got it put on a smaller whirl because you want the faster rotations for thin yarn. So put it on a smaller setting that you're comfortable with. And then we're gonna get this going. And you can see, like I said, that's definitely a lot of twist per push. My feet aren't going too fast because I'm getting a lot of uh, twist from the wheel. So let me get this. I'll start teaching once I get it on the wheel. Get it on the bobbins, what I'm trying to say there. I haven't had enough coffee this morning. Okay, so it's officially reached the bobbins, so now I'll start teaching. Um, so with spinning thin, let me get the camera over here. Smaller gears always give me a second to get them going. So uh, you really want to let the twist get going in there. And you're just going to pull it thin. That's where the pre-drafting is helpful. And then smooth it down. But you're just, you're wanting to use less fiber. So you're wanting it to go through in a thin amount without breaking. So I mean, you can accomplish that. I'm trying to get my fiber lined up here. You can either... Pull forward and smooth back, pull forward and smooth back, or you can kind of pull back. So you can do either style that you like, but the, the name of the game is you want to have a lot of twist. I actually, that might be too small of a gear for me. I think my feet like to go faster, so uh, I like, I have a good many gears on this wheel. There we go. Yeah, I like that better. I have a good many gears on this wheel, so uh, small. I can use a smaller one without it being too small. But you just are wanting to get the fiber pulled really thin and then get the twist in the fiber. So the thinner you pull it, you know, where you can almost kind of see through it. And then I, I use that finger to kind of smooth down and get it really compacted. If it keeps coming apart on you, just, you know, fluff up one end put that in back together, that just means you need more twist. So you need to let more twist, see, I mean, I'm really letting the twist build up into it. So if it's coming apart, that means you need more twist. So maybe a smaller gear ratio or just hold on to it a little bit longer. Um, also the uptake with thinner yarn, you can tell I don't, the uptake is the, the tension. So you may have like a tension strap. I have a tension block. People that like to spin really thin, you don't want too much tension because you want to be able to hold it on, hold on to it a little bit longer here to let that twist build up like I was just talking about. So if you feel like it's coming apart or being pulled away from you too much, then you need to uh, loosen up on your tension. For thicker yarns, you want more tension. Typically, for thinner yarns, you want less tension. Some people totally take the tension off. The people that spin like super crazy spiderweb thin yarn. And that's pretty thin. So anyhow, that's what we're doing today. And uh, like I said, sorry for the bad lighting. It's really rainy and gross here. So uh, I'm going to go drink some coffee. And uh, hope you have a good morning. And I will see everybody's yarn on Facebook. Bye.